The link between autism and IQ has always fascinated me. On one hand, we have the autistic savants like Sheldon, but on the other hand, there's also a high comorbidity with intellectual disabilities, which means they're likely to go hand in hand. When we think about autism, or at least when I do, these are the two main presentations that come to mind. Before even doing any specific research, I can recall from past experience that a lot of the autism studies that I've read exclude those with an IQ under 70, which is defined as intellectual disability. But if we're excluding them from studies, there needs to be people studying them specifically. We can't just leave a vulnerable part of the population out of the equation completely. And I also think it would be useful for comparison's sake. It would be good to compare the presentations and see what kind of differences we see between those two sides of the spectrum, between those with accompanying intellectual disability and those without. The problem with this question is that an IQ test just can't measure the full spectrum of intelligence. Even disregarding the cultural bias and socioeconomic factors, IQ tests typically prioritize verbal and math skills, so we would need to also include assessments in the research that can account for creativity, emotional intelligence, and maybe practical problem solving in some way. It wouldn't necessarily look like a line where high IQ is on one side and low IQ is on the other. I kind of like the idea of a filled pie chart model, something like this. Here it's being used to describe the different domains of autism symptomatology, but it could also be used for IQ like this.